went back to finish my degree with every intention of going into academia and becoming an intellectual of some sort. But uh, in DC, I uh, discovered uh, naked dancing, and I discovered that I could make money off of my body and support myself in that way. And given what I had come to understand from queer left thinking and queer left work, uh, I went really hard in that direction. So, you know, for me, um, dancing, sex work, pornography became a way of expressing my uh, radical sort of position within the world, my desire to live a queer life, my desire to live a non-corporate life, a non-assimilated life. And I, like I said, I went really hard that way for like over a decade. And e, what did I tell you? The whole thing about queer culture, it has nothing to do with, it honestly really doesn't have anything to do with being gay. It has nothing to do with who you sleep with. Queer is about not assimilating to normal, normy, cis heteronormative culture. It is about rebelling against everything that most people in society do. Rebelling against having a traditional biological family, rebelling against kind of like getting married, settling down. They don't want to do any of this stuff. Having a relationship that only has like, you know, two people in it. They, they, they're they very big on polyamorous relationships. There's a town, Somerville, Massachusetts, just legalized polyamorous marriage. So like marriage, basically polygamy, marriage with, with, with more than like two people in it. And so when you think queer, they're never going to define it because queer defies definition in the eyes of these people. Queer is anything that destabilizes the system. Again, four goals of the woke left. Gain as much power as possible, destabilize the system, attack capitalism, and then usher in their Marxist utopia. Queer is fundamentally designed to destabilize the system by actively rebelling against every staple that upholds American society. Does that make sense to people? And um, I started a, uh, a porn business, which I've been in for maybe 13, 14 years, um, which it, for a long time did feel very radical. You know, particularly, you know, making gay fetish sex videos was really liberating for a long time, although recently it's come to feel more just sort of like another sort of capitalistic kind of enterprise so i've sort of fallen out of love with that and i'm now reapproaching my first love uh queer left thinking and queer theory and trying to bring through school of thought to trying to uh assimilate a lot of my life experience within sex work and kind of being really on the fringe of uh gay sexuality and that world and sort of bring it together with sort of my theoretical world and my intellectual world. And the pieces that I've done so far on School of Thought have talked about uh, assimilation. And by the way, guys, there's nothing wrong, I don't think, with, again, doing sex work, doing porn. As long as it's voluntary, there's nothing wrong with, like, you know, being into fetish stuff. We like what we like. There's nothing inherently wrong about that. And there's and and those aren't necessarily acts of political activism. OK. Where it crosses into queer theory and critical theory is that you engage in sex work because it's a rebellion against the system. It's why you're doing it. It's not as I'm, I'm sure it's an, I'm sure it's enjoyable enough. Right. Um, but like it's the reason that matters. There are people who engage in sex work because it's a way to pay the bills and maybe it's a job that they enjoy. Okay, fine. This guy is doing it because maybe it's a way to pay the bills. It's a job he enjoys and he sees it as a direct rebellion against the system. It destabilizes the system. He is, he does porn and makes porn and does fetish stuff because it is a direct rebellion against the system. It's not just about like you like what you like. So the reason, the why is important. And this is why, like, I, I will never demonize, like, people who do sex work or who like porn or things like that, because, like, who really cares what you do with your body is your business. But if you're doing it directly to rebel against the system, then I'm going to go, 
okay, what is this really all about then? Because for most people, watching porn is not actually a political act. Why are you making it a political act? It's the political act that's the problem. 